We start here for you. The bail application of eight accused in the murder case of Sviso Twala and Musanene continues in the Pete Retief Magistrates Court in Kondom, Bumalanga. Three of the accused have also been linked to a Goga the Goga brothers' killings. All suspects face murder, attempted murder and kidnapping. ENCA senior reporter Pamandla Goke is on the story for us and he joins us now live. Uh, Sipa, the last time we were in court or we heard anything from Pete Retief Magistrates Court, there, were very, um, emotional, there was very emotional evidence by uh, the investigating officer about how these farmers uh, were murdered. Tell us a bit more about that and what we can expect today. We can expect the continuation of that testimony by the investigating officer in the matter, and that is Warrant Officer Ntlapo. He will continue to be cross-examined by the defense lawyers as he took the stand in this bail application hearing. I can tell you that any minute from now, those eight accused are set to enter the courtroom here at the Peter Diff Magistrates Court in Umkondo, Pomalanga province. Basically, what we have heard so far is that the investigating officer has told the court that those two men, that is Mr. Sviso Twala and Mr. Nene, that is Musa Nene, they were tortured before they died. They were killed, and in that controversial Papun Kral farm, that's where the incident happened. So the story, the version of the state is that they had a tire puncher. When they were busy trying to fix that, they were then confronted by a group of farmers and their employees. They were allegedly tortured they were beaten to death, and then pliers were used to pull and press their private parts, according to the investigating officer, that is, warrant officer Ntlapo. Let's see what's happening inside court. I'm going to ask my colleague, Deboko, to come with me and show you what is happening here. The investigating officer will take the stand. is already inside the court. This is inside the courtroom as we await the arrival of the magistrate for the proceedings to get underway. Defense lawyers are here. The state prosecutor is here. The investigating officer is here. So this tells you that preparations are underway for court proceedings to get underway shortly. As we see the investigating officer, they will continue to be cross-examined by the defense lawyer as we await the arrival here of the eight accused. In the public gallery, we see some members of the public here entering the public gallery. This case has drawn and attracted so much attention and interest whereby community members come out in numbers to basically take their spaces here at the public gallery. So those are some of them. Others are still outside here. Basically today we expect that proceedings will centre around the investigating officer continuing with his evidence and he gave evidence in chief. He is being cross-examined now. But interestingly the defence lawyers put an application which led to the adjournment last time we were here they want the court to order the state to grant them this docket, the case docket, which has got the details about the statement of witnesses, as well as uh, issues of, uh, you know, when you're talking about post-mortem results of the deceased. They want that, so that's why we agend. We expect that today the magistrate or the court will rule whether they will be granted access to that case docket that they want. Um, Spamanda, can you tell us also um, the link between this murder case and that of the Goga brothers? I think now there is some movement. We see the accused persons here entering the courtroom. Before I answer your question, Teboho is showing you these are live visuals of all the eight accused as they enter the courtroom. So the link between this case and the Koga brothers as we enter the courtroom with the accused, we will see them being uh, uncuffed now shortly. Uh, the link here is that some of the accused in this case are linked to that other case of the Koga brothers. If, if my memory serves me well, three of them are also charged in that uh, murder case of the Koga siblings. So that is the link. And also the crime scene is said to be the same where the Koga siblings died and where Mr. Nene and Mr. Twala lost their lives. So that is the link that is there. And I can tell you that... Uh, 
it's something that features strongly here in terms of evidence that was presented by the investigating officer Warrant Nklapo, drawing that link between that Toga siblings murder case and this case, but also as I've alluded earlier on that we'll continue to see here. You can go through say and consult with your clients as lawyers are busy there trying to consult with their clients before court proceedings get underway. So those are some of the lawyers here who are busy having that last minute consultation with their clients. Remember that this matter was postponed last week so they haven't had much time to consult with their clients. So the link there Maseho is that when Mr. Mtini and Mr. Zenzele Koga died, that, the, that matter or the murder scene there is at Pampunukral farm. And for Mr. Twala and Mr. Nene, the crime scene is said to be the same crime scene. And three of the accused in this matter are also accused in that murder case mm. of the Koga siblings.